Okay, welcome to Unit 3, Cells. Um, this will be the unit following um, your chemical world unit, and uh, this will take place over about five weeks okay, of term two. Um, so four lessons per week. Okay, so let me just write down some introduction. So intro. Now what's this about? So living things are made of cells, right? Living things made of cells. Okay, and cells play a very important role in human body functions, okay? So play an important role in body. Okay, example, skin repair, right? So you, get, you shed your skin every once every 30 days, I think, from memory. That's due to, cell, um, due to cells forming. And it helps us also understand diseases. Helps us understand diseases like cancer, right? Cancer is cells going out of control. Um, so that's the intro. Let me now talk about cells, okay? By definition, so you should know this definition, cells are the smallest units of life. Now, don't get confused with atoms. Atoms actually are what make up cells, right? But for life, when we're talking about life and disease and stuff, cells, that's what we're referring to. The smallest units, so the smallest building blocks like Lego of life, okay? And, um, okay, building blocks of all things. So building blocks, they're the building blocks of living things. Okay, so when I hold up my hand, for example, now, and I had a super powerful microscope and I can look right into it, I would see, like, something like this. I would see skin cells, little blobs protecting my um, inside, right? That's what I would see in my hand. Um, what I want to talk about now is the different types of cell. Okay different types of cells. Right. There are two different types of cells. So what are plants? So what are plants and animals made up of? Okay, They're made up of cells. Right, there are two different types of cells. There are plant cells, which look something like this. They look like boxes, okay, rectangles. Look like this. And there are animal cells. Okay, you don't need to know about the components yet. I'll talk about that later on. Just for now, know that there's two different types. Animal cells look like blobs, okay? Round blobs, plant cells are square. Okay, plants are made of plant cells, animals are made of animal cells. Okay, so there's different types of cells. I want to talk about microscopes now. So what do we use to look at cells? We use, so scientists use microscopes to magnify objects. Magnify means to make, um, make it bigger. They use it to magnify objects. For example, cells, um, what else? We can use it to look at um, uh, nails, skin, dot, 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 right? Now, objects that can only be seen um, using a microscope are called microscopic. Microscopic means small. Okay? Can only, you can only, can only see them using a microscope. Okay, that's what microscopic means. So cells are microscopic, for example, okay? Example, cells. Cells are microscopic. Okay, also magnifying glasses, okay? Um, are things they use to magnify things. They're not uh, microscopic. That's what they're not called microscopes, okay? They're not used to look at microscopic objects, just um, objects up close, okay? Now, there are two different types of microscopes. Two different types of microscopes. Okay. First is called monocular, and I'll explain what that is. Monocular or binocular. Okay, these make 2D images. They make two-dimensional images, so flat-looking images. Okay, number one. Number two, you have stereo microscopes and these make three-dimensional images okay so what's monocular mono means one okay think of mono brow one brow so one lens it's got one lens that you could look through okay one eyepiece okay binocular think of binoculars 
What are binoculars? Binoculars um, have two eyepieces, right? They used to look at things far away. So bi means two. Mono one, bi two. Tri is three, it's triceratops. Okay, it's a dinosaur, three horns, so on and so forth. So they used to look at two d images that look like this, okay? Just two-dimensional. Stereo microscopes, think of stereo. Stereo projects, uh, st stereo projects sound in every direction, right? So in every direction, you can think of three dimensions, up, down, left, right, back and forth. So you get a 3D image of, say, an ant or something. That's a stereo mic um, microscope. How does a microscope work? Okay, so let's say you've got a, so to, to look at specimens, so to look at samples, we use a, um, a piece of glass and we put it inside, oh, so, sorry, we put it on the glass, we'll put like something on top to hold it there, okay? A specimen, you should know this word, specimen is the sample, okay, the object. Okay, so we place it on a piece of glass and that's held in place by something, okay? Sorry about my bad drawing. Here's the eyepiece. Okay, this is where you put your eye. So in this case, this is a monocular microscope. There's only one eyepiece, mono. Okay, so live from a mirror, so it's got a mirror. Telescopes, some of them, the basic ones have a mirror. What the mirror does is to, uh, to see things, obviously you need light, right? That's why you can't see anything at night because there's no light. So light comes in from, say, a light bulb, hits the mirror, and the mirror reflects it onto the sample. Now the sample has to be really thin. Okay, so the light can pass through, and then what you see using the eyepiece is the magnified object. Okay, it passes through a series of lenses. I should mention there are lenses in here in the eyepiece, and then you can see the sample. Okay, so that's how basic microscope works. Light comes in, hits the mirror, hits the sample, then you can see it using an eyepiece. Now I want to compare the two, there are other types of um, microscope, light and electron. A light microscope versus an electron microscope. What are the differences? Okay. A light microscope uses light. Okay. As the name says, electron microscope uses electrons. So what are electrons? If you remember back in the chemical world unit, you have an atom, you have a nucleus, and around the nucleus are electrons that go around it. Electrons are very um, contain energy. So they can be used, um, be used to look at things, okay? So light, uses, light microscopes use light, electron microscopes use electrons, okay? And these are less powerful, whereas electron microscopes are more powerful. Why? Because electrons can go through um, thick things, okay? Light, remember, can only go through thin samples, like a thin piece of skin. This can go through, say, a piece of metal. Okay? That's why it's powerful. Okay, so as I mentioned, uses a thin specimen. So light microscopes use thin specimen. Um, specimen can be anything for an electron microscope. It could be metal, it could be a ball, it could be anything. Specimen can be anything. That's why they're so useful. And the image is in 2D for a light microscope. Image is in 3D for an electron microscope. Example, an ant. Example, skin. Okay, they're the two types of microscopes. And the electron, electron microscopes are more powerful.